Welcome back to What's RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Panhard AMD 178B. It's a tier 6 French light tank, the first of the wheeled monstrosities. And uh, the abominations. <coughs> Pardon me. Well, this one is located on the south spawn of Malinovka and is under command of Citron 01. And the last time we saw him, he was in a Klaus Kellerman video, yes, playing the IS-6B, which is not the best tank, but he's rather better at this one, as you'll find out in this game. Well, it's a wheeled vehicle, it's capable of 65 kilometers an hour, developed by the French pre-war, produced between 1937 and 1940, they started work on it in December of 1931, but this one they stopped producing in 1937-1940 and they built 729 of the A version and 414 of the B version with different guns. It was basically uh, a order to produce a light reconnaissance vehicle for the uh, French. And well, fairly successful you might say in terms of uh, what they produced. That strip is getting hammered and he probably realizes it's been spotted but he doesn't know who's actually spotting him and he's actually very very close and I think I just saw an outgoing RT tracer from one of the enemy RT. Yes it's the M44 and he's out in the open and uh, that is going to spell doom for him because he's trying to run at the moment but our RT will be on him in a sec. There's three RT on our team and uh, that's such a juicy tasting target that I wouldn't be surprised if he gets wiped out, but he's lost sight of him now. Oh, RT rounds going in. They're a bit late. Oh, that strip is being hammered. And I saw another RT tracer outbound there, and it looks like the Hellcat was the guy who got hit. Enemy Type 64. Well, he fired a round into that guy, but he didn't get spotted by that Type 64. The strip is being killed, so there's nobody near him spotting him, so he was able to get away with that without being seen. Now it's got a 75mm gun if it's the B version, 110 Alpha, 120 penetration. As you can see single shot, standard reload is 4.2 seconds, he's got 3.48. So he's actually got decent reload and he's killed the Nashorn. So he's now got two kills and he's looking to get some more damage. I have to say, you can see there's two marks on the barrel, but he is actually very, very close. I think something like 94% at this moment on his MOE. Well, his team seem to have the position on the map. They've got the top of the hill. They've left the cap area exposed, but I don't think they're worried about that at all because it looks like the enemy is playing very defensively. And he's now looking for the enemy RT. He's just spotted a bk 301 p without being seen himself, and he's double bush so he can fire. Nice damage. He's using the APCR. Now, they do have slightly better penetration, 160 as opposed to the standard penetration, which is 120. M44 was last seen in this vicinity, very, very close. He's loading an HE round just in case he comes across him. Found in Dickamax. Now you can penetrate those guys with HE, and the HE rounds on this vehicle will actually, if I can get it up there, keeps popping back up. It does 175 alpha with some uh, 75 millimeters of penetration. So very decent penetration. The hunter spotted. One round in, and he's killed by uh, RT 3485. He's been spotted by another, and it's the M44. The one that ran away earlier. Oh, this guy's doomed. Don't go around the front of him. That's it. <laughs> Just don't go in front of him. Go in front of the pointy end. You can end up getting killed. Well, there's some enemy at the other end of the map. And they've actually hit our cap area. But they've um, only one of them's actually capping at the moment. He's loaded an APCR to guarantee the penetration. He's now firing blind at the cap at the moment. Well, firing in general direction of the enemy tanks that are there. 
Okay, spotted a budgie. There's two in the cap now. Ignore these guys. Go for, go for the cap. He's, I know he's getting damage on these, but his priority at this moment is to make sure we get a reset. There's only seven seconds left. They got a reset. Okay, and he got hit by that T-34-85. Now, he's in a position where he can get shots on these guys. But he's waiting. Oh, he can shoot through the gap. Didn't pen. There's two in the cap. Just needs to find out where the other one is. There it is. It's the Yag Panther. Gets a pen. Sneaky. Critical damage. It's getting resets. We're winning at the other end. And although he took a round there from the Yag Panzer, this is the end of the game because we've capped out at the other end. And he does get a shot in before the Yag Panzer is killed. So it's very fast game. Very fast moving indeed. Very well done there from Citrus01. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. He did it! Yes, he got his third mark of excellence in that game. It was an ace tanker game, but it gave him his third mark of excellence on his Panhard AMD 178B. I know we hate them, or those people who don't like the wheelies hate them. But uh, all the same, it's nice to see that Citroen 01 managed to get an ace tanker and a third mark in this game. He got a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage, a bruise medal for getting at least five critical hits, he managed to get eight, and he got a fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. He ended up with a patrol duty out of that one as well, being the only one spotting six enemy tanks whilst they were being damaged. And he did do a lot of spotting, even though he was on the move most of the time. Let's have a look at team score. Well, the highest damage in the game was actually done by the Panzer IV Schmelten, or Panzer IV Schmelten, I should say. Um, he managed to get 2,013 hit points of damage, but the second highest damage was Citroen 01 with 1,766 hit points of damage, followed by the T-3485M with 1,572. So I suppose you could say Citroen 01 was a very active spotter in that game. When it came to kills, it was the T-3485M who did the best with six kills. Three kills went to Citroen 01 and that T-3485M, the one who hit him right at the end of the game, he got three as well. And in fact, um, only two enemy tanks actually survived that battle, the Budgie and the M44. When it came to... Uh, we did cover that, didn't, didn't we? Yes. When it came to base XP, yes, Citroen 01 right at the top of the table, 1,428, which is enough for the ace tanker. The next high scorer uh, was the Panzer Schmalton, Panzer Fier Schmalton, who managed 803. So he was the only one to get over 1,000, and 1428 was enough for the ace tanker. 775 went to the T3485M on his own team. He fired 25 rounds in that game, got 21 direct hits and 13 penetrations. Damage of uh, splash damage on three. Damage of 1,733 hit points, of which 1,039 were at more than 300 metres. He received two hits, both penetrations, I'm afraid. Yes, he got hit by the T-3485M and the Jagdpanzer IV. They both managed to get around into him, but uh, he managed to delay them and get them enough resets, and enough sp spots during those resets to enable his team to cap out at the other end and win the game for the team. He got six enemy vehicles spotted, eight enemy vehicles damaged, three killed, and 3,490 hit points of spotting assist. And that was a very brave and dangerous position to take right up on top of the, uh, uh, the ramp on the far side of the lake. But it seemed to work very well for, a uh, for an AMD 178B. So maybe others will be trying that, uh, that game themselves if they can get over the, far the lake fast enough to actually get into that little spot. He also managed to get 40 defense points on the cap when he reset it and on a premium count he earned 35,129 credits but he did use a fair amount of premium rounds and he had some resupply consumables so he actually ended up with a loss of 11,001 credits altogether. I suppose you have to justify the use of the ammunition because he was trying to get enough damage to make sure that he got his third mark of excellence and he needed to do not just spotting damage but also actual damage to ensure that he got the, uh, the amount necessary, the amount of experience necessary. 1,428 experience points, 2,142 altogether to take away. The amount of damage he did was very, very good if you think about it, considering this is a light tank and he was uh, taking on uh, both the RT, the tank destroyers, and also some of the enemy heavies as well. One of the enemy heavies, the, T1, uh, the Tiger uh, Porsche. So I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. 
do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. Did you just keep coming up? Yes. Don't stop on the stairs. Okay. Where's my son? <laughs> And thank you for watching.